20 years ago, these same Satibi rebels took over the South. They massacred tens of thousands, and they would happily do it again. I'm trying to impose order. I'm trying to prevent a genocide, genocide. My own son, my youngest, he is a student here. He hasn't spoken to me in years because of what he read in your newspapers. But what he read is not true. What about your youth labor league? Ah, there. I was at fault. I hired men who, in their zeal, stepped over the line. And there were abuses. But that will not happen again. Inject my IV with an air bubble. What are you doing? I will have another heart attack. No one will know. Let it go. You tell my colonel I'm a sick, dying old man who can't be trusted. I didn't say... You were trying to put a gun in his hand and point it at my head. The gun is now in your hand. That is a practical difference, not a moral one. If you want me dead, then pull the trigger. It is not so easy when you have to do it yourself. Allison. I guess I didn't want you dead. If you touch my wife again, I'll kick your ass out into the street. I don't care who you are. I did her a favor. I showed her her true character. She's a better person than you are. She is too weak to act on her beliefs. That is not her fault. Most everyone is. Even my own advisors, my own colonel. All they do is negotiate and debate and sign treaties. They are appeasers. All the while we are beset by assassins and traitors, the scum. The cockroaches? What are you going to do about them? What is an enemy to you? Some younger physician who covets your office? In my world, there are dangers and bloodshed and death. And that makes you a man. And men make choices. And your choice is to send bands of drunk, crazed children to massacre an entire people? Don't ask me questions you don't want to know the answer to. I saved your life. I deserve to know what you're planning to Whatever do. Whatever it takes to protect my country. We need a blood sample. We gotta do the anti-centromere antibody test. It'll show House is right. It's scleroderma. Why are you doing this now? Because I didn't want to kill him. And you're right. I have to take a side. So I'm going to do what I can to keep him alive. I'll get you the blood. Positive for anti centromere antibodies. We've got to get him off the antifungals and under steroids immediately. I told you before, this only points to scleroderma. It doesn't prove it. You're just going to ignore the test? Blasto still fits best. I know it's not conclusive, but when you put it with all the other I've evidence... I've made my decision. Have you told 13 you were wrong to fire her? What does that have to do with anything? I've worked with you long enough to know you're reasonable. You can usually admit when you're wrong. But there's some deep part of you that when you find you're wrong about the most important decisions you've made, you get insecure and you just retrench. If you want to mess up your relationship, that's your right, but you mess this up, our patient dies. Switch from the steroids. Oh. 
O2 South's down to 88. Going through the main stem bronchus. Just the right upper lobe. Get them out of here. No! It's okay. Bleeder. Cauterizing. Got it? Yeah. Get the paddles. Going back in. What is happening? He's bleeding into his lungs. Charging. Another bleeder. I can get it. Hold on. There's a third. God, there's a dozen. Shock him. Clear. Charging. Clear. You want to curl up and cry. The lounge chair is a little more comfy. I switched his meds. I thought I was wrong, so I took him off the antifungals. Put him on steroids, like you said. You know what that means? That was too late. I was right in the first place. So, either you killed him by not having confidence in your opinion, or you killed him by being too attached to your opinion. If you're anything like me, and by the way you are, you need to know which. He's under lock and key in the morgue. His government wants their own doctors to do the autopsy. They're taking his body out tomorrow. There's a reason I hired you. You just didn't know what to do with a locked door. Went down to the morgue to rerun the antibodies test. We ran it twice. Turns out I couldn't get in. They had an armed guard. But I saw this. It's a sign-in sheet from the morgue. Your signature. 9.45 this morning. It's right before you guys ran the test. What were you doing there? Follow up on a clinic case. What case? You think this is really important? One of the patients in the morgue was a 70-year-old woman who had scleroderma. You and Cameron, if you took that woman's blood, you could have messed up the test results, so we treated Dabala for the wrong disease. Cameron had nothing to do with it. You son of a bitch! He was going to kill the Satibi. Every last one of them. I don't care what he was going to do. He came to us and put his life in our hands. All the good we've done. Every life we've saved, it would have meant nothing if we just sent him off to kill hundreds of thousands of people. Look at the news. The moderates are taking over. There's hope for peace talks. You tell the world that I faked this test, Dabala becomes a martyr. The massacres begin. Cover this up. I become your accomplice. You think you can guilt me into that? If the cops are going to come for me, please warn me so that I can tell my wife first. Chase. You really think you can kill another human being without any consequences to yourself? Ah. We did find an arrhythmia, but it's not from your arteries. They're clean. Will the pain come back? We'll start her on cardiac meds. That should help. But we still need to figure out what's causing the arrhythmia. Hey, Valerie. Nice. Hey, it's so nice of you to stop by. We got lots of free time now. You don't blame me, do you? 
You were drunk in front of Norris. No, 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 no. I'm drunk now. Then, it was like someone poisoned me or something. Maybe you should come back later. Okay. I just want to say goodbye. Okay, Ruth. Thank you for coming by. Hey, 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 come on, Joel. Poor son of a bitch. She doesn't love you any more than she loved me. Okay, you need to leave right now. You're pretending you're in an affair with my wife? Yeah, we're all pretending. You got nothing to worry about. Tell them where you were six months ago, Russ. I had a breakdown. I had some paranoid tendencies, as they say. But it turns out I had a right to be paranoid. You need help. Get him out of here. Oh, okay, oh, okay. We'll keep an eye out. He's not getting back in the hospital. He's making all that up. You know that, right? Yeah, of course. Can you get out of here? Thanks. It was the thanks that did it. Hi, I'm Dr. House. How long have you been a psychopath? Are you kidding? He's not. Are you saying I'm like Ted Bundy or something? Psychopathy can get a bad rap. Doesn't necessarily mean you're violent. Just that you're completely without conscience. You lack any normal emotion. You manipulate everyone around you. You're promiscuous. You lie pathologically. Any of this ringing bells? Is that why you were asking me all those weird questions? Yeah. Oh, you have Darwin to thank for that. She got the creeps around you. Which, oddly, is an actual medical phenomenon around psychopaths. Probably an evolved response to predators. I'm sorry. You're really freaking me out. I have no idea what... Relax. We have a duty of confidentiality, and you have an undiagnosed heart problem that could kill you at any moment. We believe that your mental abnormality is related to your physical one. So you want to keep on predating... What do you want to know? Your coworker's story was true. You poisoned him. No. I gave him a little Valium and an emetic. You sure you understand what the word no means? I've had him both before. Why can't he? So you were just helping him out? I assume he was cool with the whole seducing and firing part, too. Russ knew what he was getting into. He got sex every Thursday night and I gotta take credit for his best ideas. And what are you getting out of your marriage? Same thing you get out of your job. Bill has a trust fund, and I have a prenup his parents made me sign. Told you he was rich. She's not that weird. I'm not so different than anybody else. Everyone I've ever known, my family, my classmates, the people I work with, they're all out for themselves. Difference is I could admit it to myself. She kinda reminds me of someone I know. Tell me about it. Some of my coworkers will insult people right to their faces. How long have you been this way? Just how I am. You gonna cure my heart problems now? Even if the tests are positive, you don't have to worry. You're testing for syphilis, not a cold. Honey. At this stage, it's probably not communicable. You think I'm worried about myself? I just want my wife to get better. She might have caught it at birth, so it doesn't prove she was cheating, if you were worried about that. Of course not. How many weeks am I gonna have to... <coughs> You okay? <coughs> Why is she coughing? I don't know. Do you want some water? <coughs> Are you threatened by me? Not at all. Well, you should be. You let him know what I told you, I will not only have your license pulled, I will sue you for everything I lose in the divorce. So the fun you get out of making those snotty little comments, is it worth $19 million? Oh, wait. Will you hold that look? I'm really bad at showing emotions. How's this? <gasps> Thanks, baby. Can I have your arm, please?
So when you watch Star Wars, which side do you root for? Dr. House. What are you doing? Just checking in on your radiotherapy. From what I hear, you never visit patients. And now you've come to chat with me twice. I want to know how you like being a management consultant. I'm thinking of getting into it. That or psychopathy, maybe. Which pays better? I think you're already into one of them. Dr. Hadley made a joke yesterday. She said, I sound like you. You sure you understand what joke means? So you're not just out for yourself. For example, you would never interrupt a sick woman's treatment just because of some personal obsession. Of course, I'm self-interested. We all are. We're born that way. The rest of us are born with consciences. Which is something you just sound ecstatic about. I'm not saying it's logical. I'm just saying it's human. So if you know your conscience is just an animal instinct, you don't need to follow it. I think you realize that. That's why you're talking to me. Sarah? I'm Dr. Hadley. I'm, I'm sorry to bother you, but I was told you're Valerie's sister. Mm. I was just surprised you came to visit. <laughs> yeah. So I was arresting my family. I was even more surprised you got tested as a donor. Wrong blood type. But why? I mean, you know what she's like. She's not that bad. Yes, she is. Our dad was a mean drunk. I was the older sister. I was supposed to stand up for her, not the other way around. But she protected you when you were kids? Yeah, and then all of a sudden, all of his crap and all of his abuse. It just changed her. It made her cold. When? Your vitals are up. Treatment's working. I'm not sure we can fix your liver, but we can definitely list you for a new one. When you're better, we're gonna take a long vacation. You wanna go to Vietnam, one of the beaches, we're gonna get a hut, just you and me, nothing to worry about. Pathetic. What? I mean, when you had a suspicion, fine. But you know now. How can you be this pitiful? You don't mean this. You're sick. I'm not sick. I almost died and I still might. And who knows, maybe it's focusing my mind because the idea of spending the rest of my life with Valerie. you. Why'd you do that? Because he's pathetic. He hasn't changed. But you have. Treatment actually worked on your brain. If you were still a psychopath, you would have just kept draining him dry. What do you want? You're feeling something. What is it? What do you feel? It will. Hey, bad news. Because of the collapse, you can't try the airbag again until we get everything off the top. You're fine. For six hours at least. Then we have to amputate. No. It's been four hours already. It used to be a long shot. Now it's crazy. Crush syndrome is basically the level of potassium. If we remove potassium... We're already treating with sodium bicarbonate. Not with glucose and insulin. Glucose in the kids, there's gotta be a diabetic here somewhere. You wanna dose the insulin here in a non-hospital setting? That is insane. It's not worth it. Really? Because I think I'm the only one here who knows what a leg is worth. Unfortunately, you're not the one who's in charge. He is. And he knows that I testify against him and Hannah sues for cutting off a leg without exhausting every option. 
Give us a minute. I know you're angry, but please don't put her life at risk just to get back at me. Really? Wow. So this is all about you now. You took her side against me right after you heard about my engagement. Yeah, that must be it. It's not that you're a pathetic narcissist. I don't love you. So just accept it and move on with your life instead of making everyone miserable. That's great. A life lesson for a middle-aged single mom who's dating a man-child. Screw you. I'm sick of making excuses for you. I'm sick of other people having to tiptoe around you and make their own lives worse while they try to keep you from collapsing. I'm done. Fantastic. Stay away from my patient. What are you clinging to, House? You're gonna risk her life just to save her leg? Really worked out well for you, didn't it? What do you have in your life? Honestly, tell me. I'm moving on. Wilson is moving on. And you, you've got nothing, House. Nothing. I'm going down there, and I'm gonna convince her to let me cut her leg off. If you have any decency left, she'll stay out of it. No. Dr. House promised. If there was any other way. It doesn't hurt right now. I can wait. Dr. House, tell her. No, you said that there was time. There was, and it's run out. No. You asked me how I'd hurt my leg. I had a blood clot, and the muscle was dying. And I had all these doctors telling me I should amputate, and I said no. And they did this very risky operation. I almost died. But you saved your leg. I wish I hadn't. They cut out a chunk of muscle about the size of my fist. They left me with this mutilated, useless thing. And I'm in pain. Every day. And it changed me. It made me a harder person. The worst person. And now, now I'm alone. Okay. switch over to the electric saw when I get to the bone. It's two bones. Not as thick as a broomstick. It takes about as long to get through. I'm gonna cut as close to the concrete as I can. Save as much of your limb as possible. And the orthopedic surgeon's back at the hospital will clean you up. Have you fitted for a prosthetic? You'll be running circles around me in no time. <laughs>
sorry. Shut up. Shut you up. always love my legs. I don't care about your legs. Baby, I love you. I love you. I love you.